Just a, a, an apology there. We didn't seem to uh, play that insert for you. Hopefully we can get it up and running and you'll be able to have a look at that uh, cultural village that's here and well worth going and visiting just to get a feel of the Basutu culture and heritage in this area. It is rich in uh, history and it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I know if you look back into the history, this is where it was predominantly the sand that were found in this area. And then, of course, the Basutu came in and settled here ever since then. So it's uh, it really is... Uh, deep in the soil and absolutely beautiful to come here and learn more about it. Well, when we talk about the, the culture and heritage, obviously this is all about the community and you wonder what having a national park or being around a sand park means. Do you work? Do you get the jobs? Uh, how does it integrate into the communities? Well, it's great to have one of the community members here who is currently working for the Department of Environmental Affairs, Agriculture, Forests and Fishery. Uh, Mazibuko is with us and he's going to be talking about it, Mazibuko Malinga. Thank you for joining us. It's good to have you here on the program. No question. When we talk about uh, community integrating into the sand parks, I mean, you work here in the in the park, but I mean, what about the rest of the communities? Do you find that it's a it's a good job provider? Yes, it is indeed a good job provider because the project has touched so many people around Terishaba and around the surroundings here. Yeah. Uh, the project managed to cater for almost 252 beneficiaries of which they are working under working for water uh, wetland and other projects so here most of the uh, people who are working here they've been unemployed it managed to cater for them to have uh, uh, to alleviate poverty yeah. offer them training and so many things yeah so so that's the that's when we talk about that c collaboration between sand parks and the communities it is there and it is working it, it, would you do you would you say that yes uh, indeed i can say that yeah. uh, the project uh, people here né, we are living closer to the sand parks people around here they come over to work here they look after the environment through doing that also it provides them with uh, work and training and so many things because they are now able to look after their environment not only seeing it alleviate poverty but for them to be here it has made so many so much changes to them yeah and 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 in terms of the the the, the community getting jobs from sand parks and the surrounding areas uh, ha how long have you been working for for sand parks it's been almost 24 months now oh, that's great that's really nice and the rest of your community are there quite a few of the members there that have got jobs yes a lot of people have got a jobs from the site it's not only uh, the 252 that I've mentioned yeah. but so many people sand park has managed to employ people around here we've got uh, people working for fire who are helping with this fire that is currently taking place here so above all this uh, it has touched so many people Great. yes yeah, that's wonderful what kind of jobs are available uh, here there are people who are working for water home they uh, cultivate the actually it's all about uh, protecting the land like the water and all those things they alleviate the alien plants and then so that it can save water for the animals and all those things and then keep the nature well reserved and I imagine as a, a community living here, the preservation of this nature and this beautiful environment is something that you'd like to see. I mean, the communities, are they very proud of this environment? Yes, communities are very proud of this land. They're looking after it in so many ways. Yeah. Yes. What about the, the, the tourism facilities here? Do you find that there's also job opportunities available there? Yes, there is job opportunities because uh, we have so many tourists coming over here, not only and uh, here at Golden Gate, because we've got so many areas where they come and visit, and through that, it also creates more employment because most of the people they're doing their uh, their artwork, of which they sell them to the tourists who are coming over here. Also, it helps put bread on the table for them. So tourism really touches people around here so much. Wonderful, Mazibuko. Thank you very much for talking to us, and uh, keep up the great work. And I do hope that you'll be able to just uh, uh, get more and more people to come and visit here. The more people that come the more jobs that are created and that's the reality yes it is thank you very much for having me so the Basuti village now that's very close by here uh, do you think that's a good a good place to go and visit yes it is a good place to visit so that people that can come and see the nature and see what really Basuti people are doing here yes and also about the uh, rich culture and heritage and the history that you'll find of the Basutu here. So that insert I promised you a little bit earlier, apparently we have it for you right now. So take a look, Maziboko. Thank you very much for talking to us.
The cultural village dubbed the Living Museum. It has proven to be one of the best tourist destinations in the country. The village accurately depicts lifestyle and architecture of Basotho from 16th century. It was incorporated into the world-renowned Golden Gate Highlands National Park. This followed the dissolving of Kwakwa as a homeland. Basotho Cultural Village is situated on your way to Golden Gate in the Eastern Free State. The reason for this uh, place to be around is to teach people more about the South Soto tradition and culture, dating back from 16th century to the present day. The village, as a custodian of Basotho cultural history, has been attracting hundreds of learners and tourists from abroad. As part of celebrating Heritage and Tourism Month, the village has organized a number of activities. This include storytelling, cultural music and dance. The whole idea behind here is to restore, to preserve and conserve the culture of the Basutu people. The reason being that we've got tourists that comes outside uh, South Africa and also the local ones who come and see what is happening around here and learn more, especially the children. Besides music, storytelling, traditional dance and food, Basutu are also proud of their blanket clothing. Tribal Blanket is unique to the Kingdom of Lesotho, was produced after the founding of Basotho Nation in 1833. The village has also Nkheche, traditional healer, the chief bone thrower. He throws the bones to give the visitors a peep into their future. Visitors also enjoy delicious Basotho traditional food. I'm making the barbie. Here at the village, we cook a variety of traditional food from sour porridge to pure soga. The Basotho Cultural Village Rest Camp offers self-catering accommodation. The camp also has communal bribe facilities. Tabiso Harebe, SABC News, Basotho Cultural Village in Kwakwa.